Welcome to my roost. Um, I'm sharing with you an accordion fold um, masculine card using the um, Urban Underground Suite from the Occasions Catalog um, 2017. I just fell in love with this suite. Um, when I first saw it, I thought it was okay, but now that I've got the stuff and started playing with it, it is awesome. The um, Hexagon Hive Deep um, folder, I'm going to show you some stuff with that. It's awesome. Love this paper. Masculine cards are, are always, um, for me, a little bit of a struggle. Just love it. Um, black ones are awesome. And these ones with the foil. Oh, you're going to be making lots of neat cards with this. So the stamp set that we're using for this is actually the, um, the Nailed It. So let's get started here. As I said, this is an accordion fold card. So I started going going with my uh, my masculine theme. I'm using the um, craft paper. It's a little bit heavier, and uh, it's 12 by 12. We need a 12 by 12 paper for this. So when you take your 12 by 12 piece, you're going to um, cut off a piece that's five and a half, and then you're going to need two little belly bands for this project. So move it to six, cut off a half inch strip, and then move it to five and a half, and you'll get your second piece. So you'll get two half inch strips for your two belly bands and two five and a half by 12 pieces for your two cards. You get to make two cards out of this one. Now we're going to move our cutting blade out of the way here. And we are going to score this. And it's really simple because it's all th at three quarters, so it's one and three quarter. So just keep that three quarter in mind. And then we're going to go to four and three quarter. That's our card base, really simple. Then we're going to take that, that urban underground paper and we're going to go ahead and cut one piece at um, four by five and a quarter. Now they're all going to be five and a quarter, you know, this way. And then the medium sized piece is going to be two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And the little front one is going to be one and a half by five and a quarter. And any of this paper you can mix and match. It's just gorgeous. I love it for this particular project. So then we're just going to go ahead and snail these on. And when you're when you're adhering them, you're going to want to try to keep your um, your paper lined up. I kind of take the top just because that's where, so that when you um, open it up, it, it, it's all line and it's not up and down. Now for our, our design for this card, I'm actually going to make it a birthday card. Now this is the Build It Framelits um, that you can buy in a bundle with the Nailed It stamp set. Aren't these awesome? Tape measure, you could use that for, for school projects. Um, oh, I love those little, the, the nut and the screw. So we are going to do this as a happy birthday set. And because the Nailed It set doesn't have a happy birthday, I'm using a stamp from the Teeny Tiny Wishes. Um, I would suggest this stamp set, you know, if you can only have one greeting set, buy this one. I reach for it time and time again. It's an awesome stamp set. So I'm going to take some espresso since it's kind of the guy card. Go ahead and do my happy birthday on this little scrap of... Um, very vanilla. I'm using very vanilla instead of white because the urban underground background colors on that paper um, is the very vanilla and I'm going to go ahead and cut this out with this little framelit. This is going to be our um, rosette on the front. 
Now I'm also going to take a piece of um, silver foil and I'm going to punch out a two inch circle from this. And then I'm going to use this new um, embossing folder, the Hexagon Hive. Now it's really, really thick. So what you do when you run this through your Big Shot is you leave one of your um, clear plates out because this is thick enough to make up for one of your clear plates. If you notice that you're um, not getting the depth of image that you want, you can see this. Um, you can just add a piece of cardstock um, behind it to give you a little bit more thickness. Now we're also going to be doing some um, tools on this. I want to have like a like a handful of tools here. So we're going to stamp some tools. I'm going to grab the espresso again. Now you can just, depending upon um, you know your person, what you want for tools. My guys are, are, are um, some of them are carpenters, some are more mechanics. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and stamp these and then I will run them through the big shot. I'll be back in a sec. We've got these all cut out. Way easier than hand cutting everything. Love when the framelits match up to the stamp sets. These are tools. Now you can use the tools um, as they are, or if you want to color in the handles, I kind of like to do that just to get set it off a little bit. Um, for some reason, I've been back to using my um, stamp and write markers for coloring again. I think I got the Everyday Hero um, stamp set, and I like the bold, bold colors. I was into watercoloring for a while, and I still do like that, but for some of the things where you want the bolder colors, I think this is nice. Okay, so those are all ready. Now we've got the happy birthday on the outside. These are going to go on this layer, and we're just going to um, kind of put them on like this, so you can see it's going to kind of just like a a bouquet of tools. There we go, a bouquet of tools. So I'm just going to attach these with some snail. Let's see if I can do this here and not get them on wrong. Although I guess And then the saw is going to be our, our base. Then for the inside, I'm actually grabbing, um, it says Make-A-Wish from the window shopping um, stamp set, which goes with the um, framelits that make a really cool box. And I'm going to put this, whoops, on the top, and then you'll be able to sign it down here. The guys aren't really into ribbon and foo-foo, so... So we're just going to do this up here. So it's going to look like that on the inside. And of course you can always decorate every panel if you want. I'm just showing you a little bit of a simplified version. So then when you do your, um, your belly band, just kind of gently squeeze it around. And then once you have it lined up, on the back, go ahead and make your creases, you know, a little stronger. And then you can just go ahead, um, I've been daring here to do this on top of my card, but it is easier to line it up then. So we're going to do that. Now, for a finishing touch, okay, so we're going to adhere this onto here, so we're just going to, again, I'm being brave and doing this on top of my card. So then I'm going to pop this up with a couple of dimensionals. <clears throat> now I've actually got some old uh, burlap ribbon here. I think I am going to add just a little bit of ribbon on the bottom here, like that. Okay, so we're going to add this onto here. 
And then there are these cool um, sticky embellishments. We're just going to add a couple of screws. You know, the guys, they like these screws. And there. Now, don't you have a guy that would love getting this card for their birthday? Hope you've enjoyed. Stop by again um, to find out some other techniques.